Hi, this is Brad Buckner, SharpensBest.com, down here in Yuma, Arizona. Uh, I grew my beard months ago, specifically to shave it off with the knives that I carry around to the shows. Um, I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I've got uh, <coughs> six knives here. Uh, two of them are kind of newbies. Um, they're used. They're Japanese cutlery. I sharpened them. Uh, I did take a kind of an aggressive whetstone and thin them down a little bit uh, and then work them over a little bit and then went to work with them uh, with my sharpeners uh, actually the little round poker chip style and I should run out and grab it off the counter and let you see it uh, this is kind of a uh, dedication to a friend of mine she said I think I like you better without your beard. I said, well, then I'll cut it off. Uh, today maybe is a time to, uh, to cut it off. Um, I have absolutely no idea how this is going to turn out. Uh, I, I see a lot of people say, oh yeah, my knife's sharp enough to shave with. Well, cutting a little hair off your arm isn't exactly shaving. Okay, I, I think that when they say, I can shave with my knife. That means your face. That means the toughness, you know, of the whiskers, uh, not just a little bit of hair on your arm. Uh, so anyway, I have six knives here, and I'm uh, not going to use uh, shaving lotion. I'm going to use actually a little hand soap, um, a little bit slicker, I think. Uh, who knows? So, anyways, let's uh, get some water and. Uh, get going. I don't care how this turns out. I, you've heard me say this a lot of times. I try to just do everything like first run, one shot, see how it turns out, put it online. You know, there's no such thing as a failure. Unless I bet somebody I can do something and then I can't. And that's failure. No, that's something that doesn't happen. Um, so anyway, uh, let's get the uh, knives. It's like, <laughs> you know. Something like this one right here. Um, that's a, a really big knife. And to say that I can shave with it, well, it's pretty damn sharp, so we're going to find out. Then we have my uh, kitchen knife, my chef knife, that I think is pretty sharp. And we're going to find out on that one. We have uh, a new, it's actually a used um, Japanese knife that I, I sharpened and cleaned up and tried to fix and do what I could with. We'll see uh, another one a little bit a uh, little bit longer, a uh, little bit heavier, heavier in the handle. Uh, did the same there, kind of did the best I could to sharpen it. Took my uh, little keychain sharpener and, and touched it up. Um, then I've got a kind of a new but old, uh, been around a long time, uh, Swiss Army knife. It's actually a Marlboro uh, giveaway knife, and I think it's pretty sharp. Um, I took the the poker chip and went over it quite a bit, and we're going to see. So enough talking. Let's uh, let's maybe I should go down to the local pub and have a couple of screwdrivers and a rum and coke and maybe a couple of beers. Uh, who knows? Um, I just hope I don't bleed. This is Brad, SharpensBest.com. Go to YouTube forward slash SharpensBest and enjoy my videos. Alright, let's find out. You only get one chance at whacking a beard off. Cutting paper, stuff like that, yeah, you get lots of chances of beard. You just get one chance. claim this one's pretty sharp. Good Lord, you ever tried to shave with something like that? Oh my God, the things I don't do. I don't even know how to do this. This is...
gotta believe it or not, it's cutting the hair off. Part of the problem with this is, how in the hell do you hold something like that so you don't cut half your face off? This is crazy. I don't want all this hair to go down the sink. So, let's try this one. Much sharper. Uh, That's a lot of hair. Uh, I gotta say, this scares me just a little bit. I've done a lot of weird shit, but nothing that could actually make me bleed as much as this could make me bleed. Let's get some of that off my finger. Hmm. Hmm. You ever been made nervous before? <laughs> this, this makes me nervous. How in the hell do you hold something like this? Oh, Jesus, that pulls. This is probably about as quiet as you're going to see me. All right, that one. Sharper than this one. Let's check the pocket knife CRKT. Melody. This is as goofy as you're ever gonna see somebody shave for you. CRKT pocket knife. Easier to handle. Pretty sharp. I don't cut my ear off. I'm worried about trying to get that. Part back there. All right.
it's not as painful as I thought it might be. I thought it might pull more. Knives are pretty sharp. Okay. My Swiss Army knife. Getting thinner. The mustache has got to stay. So. The little guy. I like shaving with a pocket knife better than I do my big Hawaiian knife. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I tell people if you're gonna sharpen them on sharpeners, you gotta play the game. Ten on each side. When you're finished, take the little burr off the blade. All right. Cutting against the grain may not be a good idea because when you kind of get under the whisker, if you cut, you might have the skin. Coming down, you have a little bit of protection. So let's go to the other side. Okay, the pocket knife's working pretty good. It's easier to handle. May not be the best idea I've ever had. This is like hard to cut. Well, this is Brad Buckner, SharpensBest.com. Uh, don't know how much the video actually got. Uh, I just shaved. My beard off with that assortment of knives. That one and that one's a real regular on my table. So is this one. Not so regular. These two are going to be regulars on my table. I sharpened them and then uh, start shaving today. So anyway, this is Brad. Not too bad. Got a cut there. Another cut up there. Now I gotta shave with my uh, regular razor. See how it turns out. The goofy things I don't do. But anyways, baby face again. Now I get a haircut. Shaggy looks got to go away. Hair's a little too long for no beard and shaggy. So this is Brad, sharpensbest.com. Go online, take a look, and uh, enjoy the videos. Talk to you later. Bye.